Uh, Mr. Zuckerman, then Ms. Metters. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Nice to see you again. See you're, you're a good fellow. Um, <clears throat> I want to support uh, very strongly the suggestion that Larry Rustaller made to you and, and kind of put this in a little bit into context. Um, and I, I want to disagree directly with your statements, Mr. Vice Chairman. Uh, this is not a new problem in terms of what's been going on over the last several years here in terms of what appears to be um, an unwillingness to include a local viewpoint in all these matters that, that um, affect the Delta. That's what you're here for, is to be the Delta Stewardship Council. You have um, a lot of expertise uh, in the uh, represented in the local areas that you're not taking advantage of. The uh, Melinda Terry suggestion about having the Flood Control Association or whoever, whichever it is in, involved is very good because they're specifically interested and knowledgeable about flood protection in the Delta. Having the Delta Protection Commission involved is a good idea because they're principally concerned about land use planning in the Delta. The Delta Water Agencies are the only uh, group that is specifically involved in protecting the water supply of the Delta. And so much of what you do is directly involved in the water supply of the Delta. Uh, you have apparently no uh, problems at all putting the Bureau of Reclamation on this committee, which uh, nobody would argue is, is, is protecting the, the water supply of the Delta. You have no problems putting the director of the Department of Water Resources on the thing, which nobody in, in the Delta, at least, would, would claim is looking after the, the water supply in the Delta. You need to balance this thing somehow, or you're going to end up right back in the situation you find yourself in today of having a process going on that uh, has little or no local representation, notwithstanding uh, <coughs> Larry Rustaller's uh, presence here. Uh, and it, it just is a recipe for uh, continued conflict and bad decisions. Thank you very much. Uh, Ms. Matters? So um, are you suing us, Tom, over the Delta plan? Well, you know, as you probably know, I no longer practice law. It's fair to say that the water agencies are involved in litigation as uh, yeah, against. Most of the people in this room. Yeah. The Central Delta Water Agency is a is a plaintiff in one of the cases challenging the, the plan. And if you if I've given you the wrong impression over the last couple of years that we were were we were, were in favor of it, I apologize for that. That was not and and intended to be my, uh, Mr. Mr. Zuckman, should your wish be granted, would you also concede that the, those agencies, if they were on the commission, would be legally obligated to implement the Delta Plan as obligated, or do you wish to be represented and simultaneously be entitled to reject the purpose of the committee? making precisely the same mistake that the BDCP made at the outset, is assuming that everybody that you put on this commission is legally obligated to implement the Delta Plan? Tom, look at, the, look at the statutory language. It says agencies, and it's implement the Delta Plan. I mean, you complain we're not doing it. What does the statute say about the implementation committee and the members? got me on that one. I'm not a, a student of that yellow book that you are, but... Well, I'll read it to you, Tom. Well, it's not necessary. Shall over... M the council shall establish and oversee a committee of agencies responsible for implementing the Delta Plan, and each agency shall coordinate its actions pursuant to the Delta Plan with the council and other relevant agencies. I understand the Delta plan to have at least two major co-equal goals. 
<clears throat> one is to protect the delta. The other is to protect or to try to create a reliable water supply for the people of California. I don't have a problem with either of those uh, objectives. I sometimes disagree with the way you interpret them. But you're willing to implement it in spite of your disagreement. Well, I wouldn't. I'm not saying I will agree with you on okay. every on every issue, okay. but I have no problem with the co-equal goals. That's good to know. It's state law. I'm glad you acknowledge I mean, you, that. You, you, you attempt to belittle what I'm saying here. That this is these are very serious problems uh, down in the area where I live and have lived, and my family's farmed there for over a hundred years. And if you continue to ignore the viewpoints of the people in that area, how do you ever expect to arrive at this great kumbaya that you are preaching here of getting everybody together? How are you going to do that? At some point, you've got to start taking into consideration from the outset the views of the people in the area that you're charged with uh, provi providing a plan for. <clears throat> Tom, let me respond to that. The, I, the, there's, it's hard to paint an accurate picture of what is going to happen before it's happened. We're, we're, our focus today is on the core membership of the Implementation Committee. But effectively, once that's established and once they're convened and meet for the first time, a list of priorities regarding the Delta Plan implementation will be determined. And it's likely that two or three of those are going to be big ones that involve in-Delta interests and the work groups that we have been trying to describe. That is the level of engagement that we believe the, will be most beneficial to the locals. I, I agree with you. There is expertise in the Delta. We've had experts come and testify before us regarding uh, levy standards and, uh, and activities in the Delta regarding the, 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 the good and the bad levies. And, and that has helped influence our decision making and even inv uh, influence the Delta plan. Delta interests are not going to be excluded. They're going to be welcomed at the work group level. And if we end up with a particular project or activity that um, rises to the level of needing to have someone at the implementation committee level, we will add them at that time. But I'm telling you, as I look at the landscape before us and I look at the types of projects that are likely to be identified as a high priority, I think we've got a pretty good place to start with the, with the core membership that our staff has recommended with the addition of the Central Valley Flood Protection. Well, there's room for more than one viewpoint on that subject. Sure. 